Hello all, not a hilarious intro for this week unfortunately because, well, this is going to sound very serious because it is, but if what YouTube is saying about the EU's Article 13 is right, we as a channel basically die. We may still be able to do the Sunday videos and Animal of the Week, but it would have to be us on camera and wouldn't be as good, and 7 Days of Science would just cease to exist. So. Very quickly, if you haven't already, make sure you're doing everything you can to stop or change Article 11 and 13. Make sure it's not passed the way it is now. A nice place to start is www.youtube.com forward slash save your internet. We'll put a link in the description. We're going to have a proper more in-depth look at what this actually does and means, because as you know, we never want to misrepresent. And when we find out, we'll probably make a video on it. Anyway, sorry about... Starting off this week, Elon Musk and SpaceX have renamed the BFR spaceship, again, to Starship. So from now on it's going to be called Starship. It's the craft's fourth name. First the Mars Colonial Transporter, then the Interplanetary Transport System, then the Big Falcon Rocket and now Starship. I fully expect it to be changed again at least once, but who knows. Moving on, Sir David Attenborough will be sitting in UN climate change talks on the people's seat. I'm not really going to go into this too much, because if you don't know the massive contribution Sir David always has and continues to give for our planet, then you better look it up and learn. He will be a valuable member of the talks, and I look forward to seeing the contributions he will continue to give to our Earth. In other news, the 2020 Mars rover being sent to, well, Mars, by NASA has its destination. If any of you remember, we said that it would probably be landing near or on the Jezero Lake Crater, and that's exactly where it will be going. It was concluded earlier this year that if there are fossils of anything on Mars, that is where they'd most likely be. So it's exciting to see that it seems 2020's rover will at least somewhat be focused on the search for life. A fascinating new study was published this week that has looked at captive orcas around the world and found these animals to have personality traits comparable to those of humans and chimpanzees. By using the five-factor model, a kind of way to measure different areas of personality, the researchers found that many orca personality traits are very similar to primates, especially chimps. Despite these two groups of animals being separated by millions of years of evolution, it seems orcas have convergently evolved similar personalities, possibly possibly as an adaptation to living in very social communities, like chimpanzees do. In other news, two new species of marsupial relatives have been discovered this week, bringing with them an insight into how organisms evolve on islands. The animals inhabited a very unique island 43 million years ago in the Tethys Sea and were found in rocks in Turkey. This island did not have any carnivoran predators, and so instead it seems that marsupials took over some of these roles. However, the entire island's biota must have gone extinct once the island became connected to the mainland again and other animals could access it. The new discoveries add to paleontologists' understanding of this island's fauna, and helps bring greater context to the weirdness of island evolution. And some truly incredible news to end this week, as a new branch on our evolutionary tree has been revealed. Two new species of a kind of protist known as the Hemimastigotes were described, resulting in an analysis being performed that shows Hemimastigophora to be an entirely new supra kingdom. These organisms are part of the same domain as us, Eukaryota, and so this discovery is pretty significant for research into our own early evolution, and just goes to show how much we are still finding out about the life we share our planet with. Anyway, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching this week's 7 Days of Science. If you'd like to learn more about this world and the wonderful life around you and you haven't already, subscribe. And if you do indeed do so, we'll see you on Sunday.